tonight I'm in the workshop again tonight and uh, tonight what I'm going to do is fit a CIS onto a HP Deskjet F2280 there you can see it there Deskjet F2280 and just to let you know these are just lights these are going to make things brighter I got one that side and one that side that I'll be pulling down in a minute it's just to make it brighter so you can see inside the printer we've got the CIS there uh, just ignore any wires that you see hanging around it's only to the lighting and as I say the lighting is just to make things easy to see so let's have a look at putting this CIS into the printer right just before we go on to the um, installation I'll just let you see a couple of things I've done to start with if you look under here there's a hinged clip which is included in the kit I've put that on just to save a bit of time and I've put this one on here just to save a bit of time so that clip goes there that clip goes there that's all you need that one approximately in the center of the printer stuck up to the roof in there just before it dips down so we've got the clips into place let's see what we do to get the cartridges in right as you'll be able to see here i've moved the bottles here to the side of the printer I'm going to leave those there we've got to get the cartridges they come with the clips on so take the green clips off these are just protective things take the clips off and peel off the tags while i'm doing that just to let you know any ink on my hands is not from this cis it's from me manufacturing cartridges you are not going to get ink all over you so let's pull that's pulled off the tags now you've just got to put them in as you normally would go into the back of the printer and click them into place that's a black and a color both clicked in pretty easy so far now you'll see that the the, the uh, pipes are coming off to the left we want to keep them off to the left and what we want to do I'm just going to pull the light down there I'll angle it so you can see in there better if you have a look at the cartridges here we've got the piping come across to the left without twisting curling back on itself and we've got to go through this clip here so we put the piping into the clip without twisting it and clip it up right that's clicked the piping into place I'm just trying to get a bit brighter in there so you can see there's a piping there curling over into the clip there and we want to make sure we've got the right length so get the cartridges and push them across to the right to make sure we've got the right length then pull them back and push it across to the left to make sure we've got the right length there that will adjust the piping and we know that that's now long enough it's in the right position so not much more to do really you just got to clip the piping into place well as you can see that the door is down here we've got to keep that down for a minute and by the way you do this with the printer off leave the printer off so get the piping and just come out here to the right if you can see come out here don't pull it tight just clip it into there that's it it's clipped in and the door will actually close up so then I want you to switch the printer on right I've switched the printer on it's going through some bits and bobs of its normal setup you can see it actually going from left to right everything's fine nice smooth movement no problems with the piping there it's going through its setup and while it's doing this you will notice on the top I'll just lift the camera up here You'll see some orange lights flashing but that's because this front door is open don't be concerned about that let it go through its setup and there it sensed that the door is open so it's brought the cartridges there ready to put some more in it thinks you want to put some more cartridges in and the easy thing about this printer is you don't have to mess around with any sensor all you have to do is put the door up now I don't know if you heard that you can hear it now anyway it's going through its setup the doors up it doesn't trap the piping here it just rests on it and now it's doing 
its alignment page like it always does when you put new cartridges in and if you watch there well printing perfectly there's the alignment page coming out everything's fine on it so you've seen it printing there to start with but we'll just show you it printing again in a minute before we go to the uh, print job what I want to do is just show you a couple of things now I'll just move that light out of the way we've got the bottles here now it's important to remember the bottles must stay on the same level as a printer on the table don't have them higher or ink will come through through gravity and in your bottles I put about that much ink in to start with but you do get a hundred mil of each black cyan magenta and yellow you get a hundred mil of each with the syringes and everything in order to fill it up to here uh, never let the ink run lower than about 15 mil because you get a lot of air in the system always top up when you get to about here and you've got to make sure you've got little air spaces in the top like that you take the small bung out you put the air spacer in and you keep this bung in the bottom these full instructions would be included with the kit showing you how to top them up with ink and everything you needed is included so we'll move on now just to see the final print before we end the video